On this episode of Living the Dream, Jimmy and Louisa run with the bulls and dodge sharks in Jacksonville, Florida. Good job, Louisa. <laughs> Look at this. All right, guys, that right there is a redfish. Guys, these sharks are barely missing these fish. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Louisa. Wow, Woo! did you see that bull shark? Oh, shark on him, shark on him. Wow, nice. I think this one's an inch or two bigger than hers. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida, home to beautiful weather and gorgeous beaches. It's late October, the perfect time to look for redfish when the big bull migrate to the lower St. John's River to feed and spawn. Captain Jimmy and Louisa leave the comfort of their resort and travel a short distance to the marina to meet Salt Life team member, Captain Don Dingman. After a short ride down the St. John's River, Captain Don anchors and preps blue crab bait for the hungry redfish, sets the lines into the water, and waits for the tide to turn. And when the tide turns, the frenzy begins. Woo! All right, we got a fish on, guys. Whoa. Oh, he's a fighter. All right. Hi. He's moving, huh? It's my kind of fishing. Oh, yeah. One after another. He's moving, huh? Yeah. Oh, now it's pulling. Oh, oh yeah. What a beauty. Big one, Louisa. Hi. You're about to see some Jacksonville redfish. Look at this guy, right this one's a on big one. Hook. It's like a 40 incher. Good job, Louisa. Gosh. Oh, it got a bit by a shark too. Not, not even kidding. It's a fresh bite. You see that, guys? Bring him in. Had him one finger and I wanted to get him in quick. You see what the shark did? There's bull sharks here in the area. And he went right for the belly on this fish, just like Don said before we got out here. But if they're gonna get bit, they're gonna get bit in the belly. He's got that hook twisted in there good. I'm gonna get him back quick because he's hurting. He's not in good shape. Come here real quick, Louisa. And there's fish number two of the day. About six minutes into fishing, two giants. <laughs> it keeps getting bigger, right? <laughs> oh man, this one made it by, made it out by the skin of his teeth. He's got a big old cut right there from his shark. We we'll do our best to get this guy to swim off well. Nice fish, Louisa. Thank you. Try not to get my hand bit at the same time. There you go. Oh. There he goes. Turn right over and swam. Big fish. He was very fortunate to make it out alive. So when you break a brood crab, you want to make sure that they're fresh. They gotta be fresh. They can't be frozen, they can't be dead. The meat will wash out in this current. So here in the St. John's, the way I do it, first off, I break off the pinchers, pat them on ice so it calms them down a little bit. And I make sure and grab the, the the legs with one side, peel the shell off. If it's a female, you get the flap off. Then you want to break it in half or cut it in half. And here, because of the current, if I didn't have a current, I could leave the legs on. But because I have so much of a current here, it causes it to spin. You want to make sure you get the flaps off and the legs off. And that's your bait ready to go right there. Into the leg socket and out the soft side, redfish candy. And the setup that we're using right here, again, just to go over the tackle with you in case you come out here and do it on your own and you're not able to do a charter with Don. Um, this is 50 
pound braid on these, 65 on some of the others, down to a three-way swivel. And on the other end of this three-way swivel, we have a 60-pound fluorocarbon leader, an ADOT circle hook, and there's a redfish. And now connected to that circle hook is a blue crab. Not bad, another bull. This one's got a little funny shape to his back there. And we got a bleeder. That hook got him in a vein or something. Right there in the corner of his mouth with a circle hook. If you just keep rolling it, the direction of the circle, it'll come undone. Oh, we got bit, that's what happened. This one got bit by a shark as well. Guys, these sharks are barely missing these fish and that's why you got to get them in so quick. Not the most fortunate thing for the redfish, but at least he made it. You can also see it on his fin. Nicked the fin there and just shredded it up a little. There he is, another beauty. Get on down there before the sharks get you. And there is a shark problem out here no matter what anybody tells you, they are everywhere. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life, live salty. Grizzly Coolers, envision, engineered, and perfected for performance. Deck it, never compromise, demand the best. And by Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. Accommodations provided by One Ocean Resort and Spa in Jacksonville, Florida. Situated right on the water, One Ocean Resort and Spa offers floor-to-ceiling windows with oceanfront and coastal room views, comfortable beds, and a relaxing atmosphere with shades of azure, sand, and pearl splashed about. A full-service on-site spa creates a space of pure tranquility that is perfect for individuals or couples. Also on the grounds are a full outfitted gym, relaxing swimming pool, and azurea an on-site restaurant serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner year-round. Nearby stores are perfect for window shopping, or grab a beachside chair and bring your favorite book and relax until sunset. For more information, visit OneOceanResort.com. Back on the water, the bulls keep on running. Good job, Louisa! Here! <laughs> Woo! Look at this. Oh, right. Thank you. You are just ah! killing it. It's my redfish workout. All right, he's right here. All right. Easy, don't reel anymore. Okay. Yeah. I'm just keeping his head up and keep an eye out for sharks. Don's got me a little, little jumpy. That. I should be using one. Uh, 60 pound leader. Yeah. Oh, this is, is not an issue. Stealth is not an issue, as Captain Don said. And this is the guy right here making it all happen. Yeah, Let me give you a little wet yeah. shake there. This is the man that makes it happen. And Don, you do charters still out here, right? Yeah, I've been doing it out of Jacksonville since I had black hair in my 20s, a so long, long time. <laughs> it's a long time. If someone wants to charter, they can still do that, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. In the fall, we have a big run from August, September, and October. Sometimes a fish day all the way through Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, but it's a real fun trip for your family. Everybody comes out here and catch big fish, drags, pulling. You know, they're yeah. all good fish and, and you gotta let them go so it's kind of a conservation thing too. Absolutely and and again this right here is I would guess over 27 inches. We're not gonna catch many below slot today are we? No and that's actually the smallest ones that I've had all year so the average Crazy. fish here is gonna be about 39 inches. Yeah. So um, it's funny how the different schools like you had another smaller one earlier about the uh -huh. same size and they run in the same size school. So, so when the big ones show up they'll all be together. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, real pretty fish out here, man. Awesome fishery that you have. And these guys don't give me any time on the release as soon as their face touches that water. All day long, guys, it's one fish after another. If you're in the hunt, on the hunt, for a monster redfish. Wow. Oh, black drum. Okay. This is the place to come for the monsters. There you go. <laughs> All right, what do you think you have there, Jimmy? Redfish? I hope so. That's a good one. These guys just got like a vacuum cleaner on the bottom. See? This was pulling. I think I got a big red, guys. 
This one's gonna be my biggest fish what of the day. Drumming. Jimmy has a big fish right there. Oh yeah, there he is. That's what we're after. Holy smokes, Don. Goodness, look at that fish. That's what we're after, Jimmy. Insane. All right, guys, that right there is a redfish. Whoo! And now look at what Louisa has. Okay. This was our double. I'm gonna point this one out a little bit. I think this one's an inch or two bigger than hers. <laughs> Finally! All day she's been catching the monsters. It might have been a little smaller. All right, guys, if you want to catch these fish, look up Hook the Future online. Don will put you on the redfish. This size pretty much all day long. Bigger as well and smaller. We got a double going in the front of the boat. The rod's bent over. So we're going to have to get another fish going. This is what I have. I'm going to wait to release mine. All right. <laughs> until Louisa gets hers in, which it's close. Oh, oh good. Jimmy, you're lucky. Yours a little... is still bigger. All right. <laughs> this time, yes. All right. Yeah, there you go. A little kiss for the redfish. <laughs> Big old bulls here. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of these. What do you think? Oh yeah, for sure. I definitely want to put All right. <laughs> Absolute studs. Woo! All right. Well, we noticed who's was bigger on that go around. Oh, oh there you go. go. Good job. It's definitely fun to get a double with you. There he goes. Big old bull. That's what it's all about, guys. Oh, man. Don, I even barely released that one, Don. I got to fight one already. Mm. Gosh. These are just strong, strong fish, guys. Unreal. Doing everything I can to make sure he doesn't get eaten by a shark. They, oh no, right there. Oh, the shark got it. I don't know if you saw that, guys. The whole shark was out of the water on him. Wow. Woo! Did you see that bull shark? I saw The whole man, I saw the teeth roll back from my angle. I was looking right at my fish when it was coming across the surface. And you had just said that. That was sick. Shark. I got my fish still. Maybe even the shark, too. Uh, not anymore. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see that. I mean, it was a foot from the boat. The whole shark came over the head of that fish that was all that was left of him. I was bringing the head in at that point. Ah, darn thing got everything. Oh, shark, 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 shark. Shark. Wow, nice. He's coming back, he's gonna come back for him. Got him, Don? Yeah. All right. Do you want me to get the net or are you good? Okay. Nice, nice one, Louisa. Did you see that shark come up after him? That was yeah. insane, guys. The shark came back, came up, and just tried to get a bite of him. It's a good one. All right, another fish going back in. He goes. <laughs> awesome. On to the next one. It's a battle here. I'm gonna try to reel as fast as I can so I don't get sharked. All right. Need a net on him? Ooh, I don't know yet. I probably will because it's pretty big. There you go. There you go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my get gosh! Him. Oh my oh. gosh, Louisa! Okay. You gotta be oh, kidding me! Okay. Holy cow! All day long, one after another. You guys see the size of this fish? Jeez! Incredible! There's no Look slowing down on these things. They just keep coming in. It's a good one right there. Oh my goodness! You're not kidding. <gasps> This is in his belly, Don. What are we doing in this situation here? You want us to leave it, it with just him? Just got it, yeah. All right, pull me tight, Louisa. What you see we're doing here on this big fish, guys, is we're just going to 
cut that line when the circle hook gets way in its belly because you can't turn it over the same as a J hook. And they'll dispose of it and the fish will be a lot better off. Louisa, that's massive. Think you can hold them? I can try. <laughs> Woo! That's a big boy. Don spoiled us out here, guys. We we're catching them out of the St. John's River. There's tons of shrimp, crabs, bait fish, mullet, all kinds of things that are coming out of here. And that's what these big bulls are feeding on. And 99% uh, of the fish that we're catching are males. In the state of Florida, you can't keep a fish over 27 inches long that's a redfish. So uh, all these big breeders, once they get that big, they just keep going. 10, 20, 30 years, it don't matter. You can keep catching them year after year and releasing them. And he's just a drum in here for me. <laughs> put up a great fight, took drag. Yes. Here you go. Very, very good fight for you, Louisa. Oh, right there on his belly, perfect. What Don's doing right now while Louisa's showing you guys this big monster fish, he's grabbing a tag so we can tag him. Be able to track this guy when he's caught, figure out where he ends up. 40 inches to the 40 and a half. 40 inches. 40 and a half. What it's all about right there. Heck yeah. Good redfish, good friends. Yes, in the sir. Afternoon on the river. It's so relaxing out here too, man. It's kind of fun fishing when you're catching this one. Yeah. Absolutely. Alright guys, this is a true Jacksonville redfish right here, beast. Put up an awesome fight. I'm gonna go ahead and release him. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> Woohoo! Fish on. Oh, it's going under the boat. Got it. Good job keeping it off the anchor. It's a beast. Oh, it's a oh. Okay, guys. That's what you see the most here. Lots of sharks. I knew he was fighting different. He was Which taking me all over the place. Which is a good actually. But they're not like a hammerhead. They have a round nose called shovel yeah, nose. Yeah, shovel or, nose. Or a bonnet head. That's a pretty good size bonnet head, actually. We'll try again. Round. I'll see you. Yeah. Wrong guy. Guys, this is another absolute monster redfish. And like I was saying earlier, you're here at the mouth of the St. John River and all up and down the St. John River where these things are. It's because there's so many fish and crabs and shrimp and bait in the area for them. And Don, is that the main thing that's the real draw here besides the females? Well, they spawn. It's the time of spawn, you know, every day. The, 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 the amount of food, is, it, is this what brings them to this location or what, what would well, it be? I don't know if they spawn in the same location like salmon every year. That's one of the things we're trying to find out with the tagging, you know? Uh -huh. uh, but it's definitely so much food in here. So many blue crabs. Um, we just had the mullet run over not too long ago. Nice. Um, Pogies are still here. So with all that bait and stuff that he's mentioning, that's one of the main draws for the fish to eat. And of course the women, that's what's bringing the big boys in here, the big bulls. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Woo -hoo. I thought that was a shark when I saw him first come up for a second and caught it out of the corner Lisa, of my eye. This rod, this rod, Louisa. Holy cow. How about Do you want the uh, net? We're gonna get this one in guys. This is a nice one. I got it. All right, we got him. Man, good job, right there, that's Don. A good right there, huh? Yes, what a monster. Let me try to get my hand in his gills so and kick out. Let's see if I can get that hook on him on both lips there. Like I was saying earlier, we've only been out here for about an hour and 40 minutes. We got another three or four hours in front of us. Louise has got another fish hooked up. So we're definitely gonna turn this into two episodes. We're gonna have this one day that overlaps into two episodes because we're gonna be out here catching these big bull redfish for quite a while. So as soon as she gets this one in, this is gonna be our last double of the day. One thing about these redfish too is you can, don't be scared to use heavy tackle, you know, because you gotta let them go and they give you yeah. all the fight you want with these heavy rods. Yeah, grouper tackle. Yeah, pretty much. Gosh, Louisa. Really oh my gosh. 
You've got to be kidding, Louisa. Give me the net. Give me the net. Yeah, that's a good redfish right there now. Yes. That's what we want. Oh my goodness. They're twins. Yep, he's trying to twist up in that net a little. There he goes. All right. Now this is what it's all about. That's it, right? There. Right here. Monster redfish. One after another. Yeah. All day. How many have we caught? I, ca I lost, lost track. track. How many I have you caught? I lost track. I, I lost track. That's what's good <laughs> fishing when you don't know how many you've caught. Unbelievable. Doubles and triples all day. Yeah, all day. All day. Awesome. Awesome fish, guys. Monster bull redfish. Giants. And thanks so much for watching today. We'll be back next week. Same time, same place catching more big redfish with Captain Don and he might even share a couple more secrets with you next week. So I'll see you then. Meals provided by the Salt Life Food Shack in Jacksonville, Florida. After a day of running with the bulls in the St. Johns River, the crew is back on land. Jimmy and Louisa visit the Salt Life Food Shack in Jacksonville Beach for a well-earned dinner. It's the perfect setting for those who love the sound of waves crashing, rods screaming, and sand between their toes. With a full menu of delicious options, from savory appetizers to chef-created entrees, the Salt Life Food Shack is the perfect end to the perfect day on the water, running with the bowls and living the dream. For more fishing and diving action, follow Captain Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson.